everyone, I'm Shannon Morris with Signal by Sony, and I'm here at CES 2016 with JP from the audio team. JP, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. So you have this new product called the ZR5. I'll be honest, I'm a little intrigued <laughs> and slightly confused about yes. what's going on here. <laughs> so for the past at least year or two, we've had multi-room capabilities on our wireless and Bluetooth speakers. And we really want to redefine the category for Sony and for the industry. And what we're adding now with our 2016 products is the ability to continue doing multi-room, of course. So now I can still listen to different things at the same time in different parts of my home, all through my Wi-Fi network. But we're also offering the ability to do wireless stereo with our 2016 TVs. That means I can connect a ZR5 or the big brother, the ZR7, directly to the TV using a standard HDMI connection. Ooh. The TV will send uh, audio via audio return channel to one of the units and then one unit will wirelessly send the other channel, either the left or the right, and now you have wireless stereo with your TV. In addition, we are also doing wireless surround. Oh. So now with our 2016 soundbars or AVR receivers, we're able to give our users the ability to have a dedicated left and right rear channel without having the need to run wires. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, multi-room, that's nothing new. There's been a lot of people that have been doing that. Why is this just happening now? And it's a great question. And you know what, <laughs> sometimes I ask myself that same thing. At our heart, Sony's still an audio company. Don't want to just release a product because everyone else is doing it. It has yeah. to be distinctly Sony. Our competitors, while they're concentrating on just one aspect of it, we have a lot more flexibility. So we're really expanding the use. So the wireless stereo that I mentioned, the multi-room that we mentioned that we're still carrying over from previous generation, and then the wireless surround, the ability to do uh, Bluetooth and NMC directly to the unit. That's pretty cool. So I can use this as my wireless surround or wireless stereo, but also when I'm on the go or I have a party, I want to move this over to my bedroom or something or to the patio, I can still sync up through my mobile device via NFC or standard Bluetooth control it via Bluetooth or wireless on the home uh, Wi-Fi network. And it looks like if you want to just leave it in one room, you can do that too. You can mount it with the mounting brackets on the back. So it looks like you've kind of completed the whole package here. We with have, the new ecosystem. we have. Um, you also do have analog input. Oh, so cool. if you want to run a standard analog device into it, you can. One other question for you, and this is an important one. Let's say my husband's gaming. I want to go listen to something in the bedroom, maybe. I'm, I want to listen to an audiobook, for example. Am I going to have to c disconnect him from what he's listening to? Can I connect to my thing separately? Will that work? Uh, you have basically the ability to do either or. Oh, okay. Or you can basically have a variety of other Sony Bluetooth speakers, Wi-Fi speakers, and through our simple SongPal app, you have the ability to just control and link those together. Okay, and I can do audio in through the HDMI all day with my TV. Exactly. But when it comes to receivers and things of that nature, it's Sony. Correct. And speaking of gaming, there's a lot of data transferring back and forth. So how's the audio integrity when you're working with wireless on these speakers? It's going to be just fine. And uh, I know gaming is a big gamer myself. Um, Me too. We're always worried about, you know, getting that, that edge or the, you know, detriment yeah. to, to, to what you're doing. With gaming, you're, you have back and forth, upload, download. With mm -hmm. this, it's basically a single steady stream of audio one way. And then it just checks for latency and makes sure you have the information sent properly. So it's really not going to affect your network. Oh, good. And in any significant way that you have to worry in terms of gaming. Yes, no packet loss. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> All right, what's the price and availability of this? We're looking right now for a spring release. Okay. So uh, not too far away. Cool. Uh, price points, we have a lot of units. So they are going to be competitively priced. People are going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised so far. I can't wait to see it on the market. Thank you so much, JP, again, for joining us from the audio team. And of course, if you guys are interested in more about the ZR5 and the rest of this Sony audio ecosystem, definitely check out youtube.com slash signal. I'm Shannon Morris from CES 2016, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>